Hello, artists. Today, we're going to continue talking about value. We know that value is one of the seven elements of art, and it describes the lightness or the darkness of a color. So what I would like for you to do is I want you to create a drawing similar to mine that you see on the screen. You'll need to have a 2D shape in the middle of your page, along with value at the top. And after you draw that 2D shape, it could be a heart, a circle, a square, a triangle, a rectangle, um, whatever, that you, uh, whatever shape you can use where you can split it in half. That's what I want you to draw for your shape. After you've drawn your shape, like for instance, I drew my heart, I want you to take a line and separate the two sides. So for this one, I used a zigzag line. After you've drawn value at the top, your shape with your line, I want you to write light on one side and dark on the other side. Make sure that you write your first and last name at the bottom along with your class code. Your class code is going to be whatever class you are in. So if you're in third period, you would write third, fourth period, write fourth, and so on and so on. You can go ahead and pause this video also if you need to see this before you move forward on what we're doing next. Okay, so for today, we're gonna to be talking about first, how we separate color by temperature. After that, you're gonna be expected to either color or separate colors on your worksheet that you created today. Finally, you will submit this artwork. Your learning objective is I will separate colors by light and dark values. So moving forward, before we get into the actual drawing part of it, let's talk about temperature. So when we're talking about temperature in art, there are two temperatures that artists separate their colors into. Those two temperatures are going to be warm and cool colors. These should also be words or vocabulary words that you should be familiar with from your elementary art class that you took. So warm colors are going to be hot or colors that remind us of something that is warm in real life. So for instance, if I'm thinking about red, I could be thinking about fire, yellow could give me the sun, and orange could be like a hot pepper that's orange. Okay. So again, we have warm colors. Those are going to be the really bright colors that you um, are used to seeing. Next, we have cool colors, and those are going to be a colder or cooler temperature. So those colors could be blue, which could remind you of water or rain, green for grass, and purple as well. So again, that is how color is separated, warm and cool. Now, when we start to talk about value, we're talking about the lightness or darkness of a color. So for instance, if I have two markers and I have a dark marker and a light marker, and I was doing this worksheet, I would possibly color with my light marker on the light side and my darker green on the right side. If you don't have markers, you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, or you can also use your watercolor paint that was uh, requested in our art supply kit, or if you purchase an art kit, you can definitely use your paint or any other item you have at home. Now, let's say you don't have any colors at all. Another thing you can do is still do the worksheet, but when, you, when it comes time to separating the light and dark, you can use whatever you have at home um, to separate by color. So for instance, let's say um, my markers, they don't work, I can't color with them, but I can still use them visually to tell me the difference between light and dark. So for instance, if you have an object, it could be some candy, some toys, some paper, whatever you have that is different colors, you can then separate it on each side and for your assignment, instead of coloring, you could take a photo. Now remember, I do grade by uh, advanced, proficient, basic, 
needs practice. And that means that the more details that you do on your artwork that you turn in, the higher your grade will be. All right. So as we see right here, I've started to separate my value between light and dark colors using one of the elements of art, line. So as you see right here, I'm using this line to draw or paint my values on each side. I'm also using a principle of design called patterns. Patterns are used by repeating or using different um, elements of art repeated over to create a pattern. And we know patterns from math and also from art. Okay. So what you'll do on your page is you can do however you want your colors to be. You could use whatever materials you have at home. But again, what we're going to be doing is creating a concentric shape using different colors and different values. Okay. So again, my dark values will go on the left. If I'm using my light values, they will go on, I apologize, your dark values go on the right, your light values go on the left. So what you should do for this assignment is take your time and use those lines and patterns to separate your values. Now, if you do have paint at home, you can definitely use the paint. Now, when you paint with watercolor, the more water that you have on your paintbrush, the lighter the color is going to be. So for instance, I'm gonna get a lot of water. Anytime I paint, I wanna be very gentle. I don't wanna press down on my brush when I'm painting, because if I do that, it will start to ruin the shape of my brush. So I wanna be very gentle. Pretend like it's a ballerina tiptoeing in the water. Okay. Again, I'm going to be making a light value, so I'm only getting a little bit of red, just a tiny bit on my brush. Okay. And what that does is I'm starting to paint, and it looks like since I use markers, it'll start to make this really cool effect where it'll start to bleed into the markers. So if you're using markers and you don't have paint at home, but you have a paintbrush, you can always blend your colors together with that paintbrush. Okay. So again, what I want you to do is use light colors on the left and dark colors on the right. So I just painted with red, and as you see, it started to spread or mix into other colors. Now I'm gonna add green on this side. But what I need to do anytime I'm painting is clean my brush really well. So I wanna make sure that I'm cleaning it with water, but also with a napkin or paper towel. I want to make sure that when I'm painting that dirty water, that it's not the color. It's just blank. It's white. It's clear. Okay. So now I'm going to paint with green. Now the more color I add on my brush, the darker it is going to appear on the page. So this actually looks a little light, but now I can use the marker that I painted or, or drew with earlier and spread it into the green. So that way it's a darker value. Just make sure anytime you're done painting that you clean your brush before you move on. So that way the next time you paint, your brush is nice and clean. All right, artists. So again, your activity for today is to create a 2D shape using light and dark values and separating it with a line in the middle and adding colors on each side or objects that you find at home. Good luck, everyone.